inside of your AI automation agency, there is way more that you could be selling other than just chatbots and automations. Now in this video, I'm gonna do a classic whiteboard video that I know you guys love, where I just go over just a bunch of different ideas that you could be offering inside of your AI automation agency, because I know that some of you are working within niches where chatbots maybe don't make sense or automations aren't necessarily really needed. This video should give you a better understanding of what you could be offering. So let me just prepare my whiteboard for you. So right now we have kind of three, but I'd say mainly you've got two services that you're offering. There's chatbots and there's automation. Now this one is obviously custom builds, but this is mainly for experts. These are for people that you know have done this before and probably have a dev team behind them where they're confident in actually delivering this. So let's say for this example, that I work with B2B companies, okay? And this is a, a real example because these are predominantly our clients. This is what we specialize in, working with B2B brands. And B2B means business to business, right? So they are generating leads online through different forms. Maybe they're running Facebook ads, maybe they're running organic content, or maybe they're in print media. So what we do is we help these B2B companies with a list of different services. So funnel building, which is essentially landing pages. We help them with lead gen. So, you know, we install a chat bot there. So we've got our chat bot. We help them with auto SMS, auto email. We help them with outreach. We help them with offer building. We help them with sales training, write content, and we help them build lead magnets. We also audit CRMs. We audit the sales process and we help them with dashboards for tracking. I think a lot of you right now, oh, and by the way, we can, add automations in there as well, because pretty much most of these are the same as automations. I want to just show you that it goes way deeper than just building chatbots and automations for clients. This is like the overarching product that you sell, but you actually have to dig deeper into what is involved in chatbots and what is involved in automations so that you can then decide what actual individual products are you gonna be offering this client. We don't want to be going into meetings saying, we sell you chatbots because no one gives a shit about that. Although those chatbots may save 10 hours every single week of time for that business, they don't know that when you just go in and say, we, we sell you chatbots, we sell you automations. Our offer is we will save you 10 hours of time. That is way more interesting than saying we sell you chatbots. It doesn't actually matter how we get from there to there. Alex from Ozzy says it all the time. Sell the destination, not the journey. And this is why I think it's important for you to see the different products that we offer. Because with this, pretty clear that we're not sending outreach messages like, hey, we'll build you uh, funnels, lead gen, auto SMS, auto email, outreach, offer building, sales training, content, lead magnets, audits of your CRMs, audits of your sales process. That's not the case. What we're going in saying is, hey, we're going to free X your lead gen and we're going to increase your conversion rate by two times. That's it. Doesn't matter how we do that because the client doesn't care. They just care about that end result. And that is how you actually structure your offer. I want to quickly run through the different platforms that we use for these different products. And yes, there are some chatbots involved and there are some automations. Most of the time they are on similar platforms. Sometimes they're on different. So when it comes to funnels, well, that's not really an automation. That's kind of an extra product that we add on because, well, if we don't have a clear funnel and we don't have a landing page ready, then everything else falls apart. The entire lead gen process is kind of dictated by how good this funnel is and how good their landing page is. So we ensure that we add that to our roster of work. Funnels, they go here, they're additional, they're not AI, but they are fucking valuable when they're done right. Lead generation, these guys are probably already running Facebook ads, they're probably doing organic stuff with SEO, maybe content, and maybe they're running print media as well. The partner that we work with is heavy in the print space, right? So they actually give us a lot of clients that they work with on a cost per lead basis and they generate them leads through articles. Now, what we do with that is we ensure that that traffic comes through this funnel. And when a lead is collected, either using a form from the client's CRM or a lead chatbot, which by the way, is literally a chatbot that answers questions about the funnel and the content on the website and then collects leads. So once that lead is collected, it then goes through a series of automations. Now, auto SMS and the auto email, they are done on a platform called Go High Level. We also build our funnels inside of Go High Level as well. So we start to just stack everything into one piece of software. Now, Go High Level is used by agencies 
everywhere okay you can check it out i'll leave a link down below it's pretty confusing to use but it is great when it comes to setting up automations hosting landing pages nurturing leads and booking appointments it has so many different integrations so that is a platform we use for that we're not using zapier we're not using make we're using go high level that already has those solutions built in now there is of course click funnels you can use wix and most of the time platforms where you can collect emails allow you to set up these auto sms and auto emails but surprisingly a lot of clients don't have them set up so that is where we step in we help them with that now we also work with them on their offer building so once we've built their funnel we help them actually build an offer now the way that we build an offer is simply by following alex formosi's 100 million dollar leads and 100 million dollar offers it's really as simple as that like the same process that we're putting together for our agency we just do for other businesses and lo and behold it works now additional services sales training now we have a lot of clients that have terrible sales on the back end. So we offer a service kind of bolted into one where we go over that and actually give them advice on the sales that they're running. So, so far we've got our lead gen, we've got auto SMS, we've got auto email, we've got offer building, we've got sales training, we have content for the website. Now for content, we can use ChatGPT. We have our lead magnets, again, using ChatGPT most of the time. You know, maybe we can give away some form of plan using ChatGPT and Zapier integrations, really easy. Again, I've made another video on that. When it comes to auditing CRMs, that is of course just a manual process process that is outside of automations and chatbots and then when it comes to auditing sales process same thing dashboards and tracking we just use google analytics you'd be amazed how many clients don't use this and they're like fuck you can track all this stuff you can put a facebook pixel on we can retarget or you can put a g tag on the website you can see how many visitors we get and what they're actually interested in yeah amazing stuff and literally that is it so you can see that we kind of do this we're very heavy on the side of things that isn't specifically AI. So this additional work right here covers probably I'd say 65% of everything that we do for these clients. Now there's one automation I forgot to put here and that is outreach. But you can start to see that the chatbot side of things is minuscule compared to these extra services. And the automation side of things are relatively simple compared to everything else. Now this is of course is just an example of what we do and the type of clients that we work with. And you're probably wondering, you know, what do we charge for something like this? Well, depending on the client, depending on the business, we look at how much value it's going to bring them, how much money it's going to make them and how much time it's going to save them. So on average, like I said, we'll save our clients 10 hours per week. Okay. With our systems. Now that 10 hours is saved across sales calls, you know, wasting time on unqualified leads. It's saved across staff members chasing. There's no need for manual chasing of clients or leads when we have these automations in place. And then when it comes to making money, of course, I can't put a number on how much money is made, but usually we can see a higher conversion rate with the B2B businesses that we work with. So if they're making more money, that's because their sales have increased. Terrible writing, I'm so sorry. The sales have increased and their conversion rate has gone up. And also they're getting qualified leads, meaning they're not wasting their time bringing in leads that don't actually bring them any value. If you have a funnel and it's got everything inside, the content's good, but it's confusing people, you're gonna bring in the wrong leads, okay? So this is why it's so important that you get your offer right, you get the funnel right, and you get the lead magnet and lead management right as well. Because otherwise you're attracting wrong leads and that wastes time and it wastes money. Cool, so I, I could sit on these whiteboards all day long. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you, you like this format or if it just makes no fucking sense at all and my ramblings are pointless to you guys also let me know because that would be helpful so that is our b2b lead system that we run for our clients and for this like i said depending on how much time we save them and how much money we make them we can charge a 10k setup fee to get everything moving everything running all of these systems in place the funnels built the forms built the crm audited the sales training done the dashboard set up the lead magnets in place outreach going on emails and linkedin we can charge a 10k setup fee and then we charge a 4.5 5k per month retainer to essentially manage that entire lead system for them so some of you may be sat there thinking fucking hell four and a half grand but if you think about it if there is three sales guys right and all of them are on a 10 percent commission inside of that business as well as a 1k base salary per month which i know for a fact they're on way more than that most of the time at least and let's say a business generates 100 leads every single month now those 100 leads turn into five paying clients at 10k each okay well to manage those 100 leads there's been two guys that are making i'm just going to give really bad numbers here 1k per month each and to manage those five deals there has been three sales guys working those leads that are on a 10 percent commission so 
we now have five paying clients paying our client 10k so they make 50k in revenue now after we deduct the 2k of staff costs to manage those leads and we deduct the 5k of 10 percent commissions let's say these guys are also on 2k per month base salary right these sales guys make 2k plus 10 percent which is pretty average in the uk if not below average so they've made their commission now we have to pay out three sales guys six grand so that leaves the business with gross profit of thirty-seven thousand because there's 13k of costs unless i'm completely wrong nope it's definitely 13k okay so how can we help this business well if we step in and they now generate 200 leads because we've doubled their input of qualified leads and they're also closing more business now so they've now closed 20 clients because we've increased the quality of leads and we've increased the conversion rate because they're now running through an insane funnel that's being fueled by ai and has been written by us and managed by us and instead of two people managing these leads a lot of it's covered by ai chatbots well they now only have to have one person who just oversees that that person is on 1k per month still and then with our 20 leads instead of three sales guys we only actually had one sales guy who's now been moved to a 3k per month base and a five percent commission because the leads are such high quality that the sales really isn't a major part and a major component now because our ai chatbot is dealing with these leads as they come in and it's qualifying them and it's ensuring that they're actually the right people for this business the client's still charging 10k so now instead the client is working with 200k of business they're paying one team member 1k and they're paying one sales guy 3k and then they're paying out a five percent commission which is 10k we are now left with 14k of costs with a gross profit of 186k all right so this is a bad example because they're imaginary numbers but you get my point they're essentially paying the same amount for higher quality leads for less sales members and less team members that need to manage it so they're paying for less hours and they're paying less on commissions which means that we can charge 10k setup and we can charge 4.5k per month because we're making the business enough money where that makes sense so yeah i hope that example helped um i'm probably going to re-watch this video and be like the fuck was i talking about but i'm sure it will help some of you but look i want to get into some more things that you could be offering because although this is our b2b lead system and this is literally me unveiling our entire business in terms of a product that we sell a lot of and what we're heavily focused on right now this is literally a lead machine that is fueled by ai um, as well as lots of other manual processes and different automations okay so what else could you be offering maybe you work with content creators okay so you work with content creators right now you run a short form agency and you basically build out shorts for people right you build out the short form content you help them edit it you help put captions in and stuff like that now word of advice if this is you don't use opus.pro because every fucking man and his dog knows what opus.pro is and it's clear from a mile away i get so many messages every single week of people basically sending me shorts that they've made for me and going hey i've made you these custom shorts and i just email them back saying opus.pro nice job so what else could you be offering these guys well you could actually be helping them put together a content plan you could be helping them build an inbound sales machine copywriting for scripts for their short forms you could be helping them with artwork using mid journey or something like that for their covers on instagram or maybe even just like a, an ai avatar for their shorts you can help them with social scheduling you could even help them with the content editing you could even be doing market research for them and helping them come up with new ideas which is kind of similar to the content planning right now you've gone from a short form agency that just does editing to all of these different services now some people will be like well no you should only focus on one service you shouldn't because this actually sets you apart this is what makes you stand out now how do you use ai for this well content planning is simple you get smart with prompting on gpt and you can start to formulate a strategy around you know what already exists and what's working for other people and then you can feed a, a content plan into that creator and say hey look post this on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and hey guess what we've also written you the scripts for those as well inbound sales machine maybe you're using many chat where you can build out uh, an inbound response bot that basically when a trigger word is sent let's say someone dms me on instagram saying agency i have a bot that basically sends them a template 
and go through a list of questions, moving them into the network, which is our mentorship community, right? So you can do the same for them. Maybe you're working with a content creator that has a high ticket offer. Maybe they are also a coach and you can just set up this inbound bot as well as creating their short form content. So, so yeah, look, copywriting and scripts, you can use GPT with that as well. Artwork covers, mid journey, social scheduling, buffer or repurpose, content editing, you've got Descript. Yes, you have Opus, but don't use it. Or maybe you're just a good editor and you can use something like Final Cut. I don't know. Maybe you've actually got some skills there. Market research is literally what I just said. So open up a Word document, go and do some research and go and watch some videos on YouTube about short form content and become an expert in your field, all right? So look, what I'm trying to say is not everything has to boil back down to AI. Now, although there are AI solutions for all of these different services, you don't have to always just talk about AI and use AI. You have to use your brain as well, right? This is the, the key thing that a lot of people are missing. So all of a sudden you've gone from being a short form agency to being a short form strategy and content marketing expert. Sounds better to me. If someone came to me and says, I'm gonna do all of your short forms for you. I'm gonna plan them out. I'm gonna write the scripts. I'm gonna do the editing. I'm gonna help you film them. I'm also gonna build you an inbound lead generation bot that handles everything for you. And we're gonna start generating new leads inside of your business and I'll manage the whole thing. This to me is worth fuck all because I can go and pay my editor $10 a short to do this, but I can't go and pay my editor $10 to do this. If this was generating me members inside of my mentorship and I was making an extra 10K per month, I would for sure go and spend 2K on this. This is something that you can go and sell for 2K. The people that are working on the short form agency stuff, most of them are working on opus.pro and they're making like $20 a short. It's pointless absolutely pointless i don't get who's teaching it i don't get who's telling you to go and do this it's not a good idea but if you integrate ai into it if you start getting smart with the different list of services that you can offer that's when things will change so just like our b2b example yes you can go and build a lead gen chatbot yes you can set up automatic sms automatic emails but you can also go and do all of this for them as well so it really does just boil down to how much time do you have in the game how much money do you have to waste trialing out different software and testing things out? And then it's packaging up that offer, being confident in what you're delivering and understanding that you can actually bring them results. And then yeah, it's just executing on that. So that is essentially it. This was a bit of a long video. I appreciate that. If you've watched this far through, then you're a legend and you're obviously in for the right reasons because you want to learn. But this is how we're making money in our agency. This is how I would start to structure your offer and look at the different products that you could sell inside of your agency. You know, whether you are specifically working with onboarding clients, maybe you do an onboarding audit, you do an onboarding chatbot, you do onboarding training, you do staff training, you kind of cover a whole spectrum and then you stay in your lane. For us, it's generating B2B leads and it's working, nurturing those leads and ensuring that the leads that are generated are of high quality. So maybe if you're a short form agency, you aren't just stopping at the short form editing, you're actually going deeper into a short form strategy and short form scheduling, editing, building, everything. You turn into an absolute monster and that is the true definition of an agency. There is no agency being built right now where they just sell lead chatbots or they just sell automatic SMS and automatic emails. You have to bundle it up with other stuff to make it look good. You can literally go and steal all of this from me. It's on my website. You can scroll down, you can see what we offer on Unorthodox Leads, watch my VSL, you can read the different products and services that we offer. It's right there in front of you. Go and use this as a template, learn from it. And if you did learn from it, let me know down below. I hope to see some of you in the network, which is our private community. There's limited spots left. First link in the description, you can join today. I've got a banging video coming up for you very, very soon. I cannot wait to drop it. It's taken me so long to put together and I know you guys are gonna get some value from it. But that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.